Hello, everyone. Welcome again to another Word for Today with Ray. Just so grateful to have you with me studying God's Word together. And let's go to Him in prayer and ask Him to bless our time. Hello, Lord. We're so great, Heavenly Father, that you're with us, that you promised you'd be with us. You said where two or three are gathered in your name, there you are in our midst. And so I'm so grateful that we can know that you're with us today as we study your word. This book of Ephesians has been remarkable, Lord, and we're just so thankful for your grace that you've extended to us. We ask you to teach us and to guide us into all truth by your Holy Spirit today and help us to live according to those uh, ways, Lord, that we learn. Uh, once again, we're just so thankful for Jesus who gave us access for these things. And we bless you, Lord, for all of these things. In Jesus' name, amen. The title to today's lesson is The Far Off Made Near. It's taken from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2 and verse 13. Paul the Apostle referred to the Jews as the circumcised and the Gentiles as the uncircumcised. As he reminded the Ephesians, they were aliens and strangers in time past before they knew Jesus as their Savior. In chapter 2 and verse 13 of his letter to the Ephesians, Paul tells them how they were far off from God and are now made near by the blood of Christ, where we read, but now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made near by the blood of Christ. The verse begins, but now in Christ Jesus, you who were sometimes, who sometimes were far off. Paul began with the words but, or the word but, which is a disassociation conjunction, which means that which is about to be written takes precedence over that which was just written. Moreover, nevertheless, even and also now in Christ who is the anointed one, the Messiah, and the Son of God, Jesus, whose name means Jehovah is salvation and is the Son of God, the Savior of mankind, and God incarnate. You who sometimes, or the people who were formerly, aforetime, or at some time in the past, were afar off, or were far off, or at a distance, and of remote regions. Paul shared the first part of a contrasting Gentile position which placed them far off from a relationship with God. The verse goes on to say, are made near by the blood of Christ. Paul continued, are made near. Are, you become near of place, position, and access to God by the blood, which refers to the bloodshed by violence, the slaying and murder of Christ, who is the anointed one, the Messiah, and the Son of God. Though the Gentiles were far off, through the shed blood of Jesus Christ, they now had access, position, and place with God. When we think through these words of Paul, we see once again the far-reaching grace of God. Though the Gentiles were estranged from God without any hope of a relationship with Him, Jesus Christ shed His blood to bring them close to Himself. Because of Jesus' sacrifice, Everyone has access to God, whether Jew or Gentile. Praise be unto his holy name. Next time, Paul shares how Jesus is our peace and has broken down every wall. So read ahead and we shall join together then. Until tomorrow, there is more. And may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace as you continue to study his word in Jesus' name.